Ryan Reynolds on the big screen is a charming, charismatic, and funny human being. In the public eye, he's a charming, charismatic, and funny human being. <laughs> in recent years, even in the past decade, Reynolds has become the ultimate heartthrob of Hollywood as well as a successful producer in that industry. Usually when it comes to achieving a high level of fame, especially at this caliber. You have to spend years and years of mastering the art and craft of acting through numerous hours, trial and error to perfect the craft in such a competitive job market. But when you're Ryan, you just have to be Ryan. Which I know is a little unfair, but I mean, look, look at him. Look at, look at that beautiful smile. You, you can conquer nations with that beautiful face. But it's not just the beautiful face that wins over the crowd, but also his charming and witty personality. Both on and off the big screen, and even the small screen, this man carries the world with his charming and likable sense of humor. Even in probably the worst rom-com movies of all time, and probably the most boring, he still manages to keep that charming smile and witty sense of humor pretty much his entire life. And like I said, even in the public eye, he's pretty much the same person. It's like he doesn't even have to act, he's, he's that amazing. So it makes sense for him to play a fictional comic book character who just so happens to share the exact same charm and sense of humor which led to a pretty successful franchise ongoing. But for Reynolds' successful career in the film adaptation of comic books, it didn't exactly start off that way. What turned into a pleasant voyage started off as a pretty much rocky horror picture show, which was The Green Lantern, which was known to be one of the worst DC movies to ever exist, so bad that it, e it didn't even exist in the, in the Zack Snyderverse. Like, how bad of a movie does it have to be that it doesn't exist in the already bad lineup of, of DC movies? That's, that's not exactly a good thing to have on your resume. And the rise in popularity of comic book movies, it seemed like it was going to be the end of his career. And things didn't really help with the movie, with movies such as the X-Men Origins Wolverine. Another really bad comic book movie to ever exist. Like, and a really bad reputation that would continue with the Mar with Marvel franchises ongoing before the MCU existed. But while the center focus was Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, ironically, the one that actually stood out was Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. Even though he didn't wear the signature outfit, his charm and wit of the character actually did- it actually helped the movie a bit. Unfortunately, the movie decided to put a mask over his head even, and even his face to the point where he can't even talk. So that just kind of ruined the entire character as a whole, and just pretty much ruined any chance of there being a retread of Deadpool actually coming out. But then Ryan stepped in and said, F*** that shit. I'm going to make this character come to life in the way that it's supposed to. And then finally he came out in 2016 with the first Deadpool movie, and let me tell you, we couldn't be happier with this film. This film and even its sequel managed to actually bring out the best in not only Deadpool but also with Ryan Reynolds' career as an actor. And I'm actually really happy that he, ha that he has because now it actually opened doors for even more roles for him. Not only allowing him to be that same charming person that we all know and love, but also just knowing that it's never the end for anyone just because of their own personality in the industry. It just gives a lot of hope for a lot of people and I really do appreciate that with him. It really gives us an optimistic look at this sort of perspective and makes us think, you know what, he's a cool guy. And we can be cool guys too if we really just think about how we present ourselves. I feel like that's really important and I feel like he shows that in the best way. And I really appreciate that with him with Ryan. So thanks, Ryan. You're a charming dude, and I wish I could meet you. And I, I probably won't be able to because you're way too famous. You probably won't have time for me, but that's okay. Anyways, that's the end of my video. I'm gonna go watch Deadpool now. See you guys later.